artificial intelligence, also known as AI, is taking over the planet right now, which means we are one step closer to robots enslaving us. It's not scary at all. I'm gonna get way more used to it than everybody else. I'm gonna let AI decide where I travel to. Step one, Riz the AI. I love you. Do you love me? As an AI language model, I don't have the capacity for emotions or the ability to love. Whatever. I want an AI model that could love. <laughs> I want to travel. Personally, I want to go somewhere around Europe, somewhere in the Europe destination area because I got family in London, I have friends in Amsterdam, I, I know people around the area. It feels familiar enough to me. It's gonna be such a culture shock. It's not gonna be fucking, it's not gonna be super familiar. Oh, I'm so nervous to see what it's gonna say. It's time, let's do this. So which country should I go to? That's near London, Amsterdam. You decide. I suggest visiting Belgium. Okay, <laughs> there we go. I know nothing about Belgium except for waffles and beer. Frick it, dude, let's freaking go. Here's the thing. I really don't wanna go to Belgium alone. So I need to find some people that might want to go with me. So I'm going to FaceTime some of my closest friends and see if they want to book a last minute ticket to Belgium. I hope one of them do. Step two, find a friend. Crazy question. By any chance, would you be down to go to Belgium on Friday? I like the idea. I definitely like the idea. I can't just like go to Belgium. <laughs> Damn. You want to go to Belgium? No. Nobody's answering my FaceTime. I feel like this is just a social experiment that made me realize I'm the only person I know that doesn't work. I, I just don't do much, huh? Finally, after days of searching for somebody to go, the ticket prices went up, but it's okay. Liam finally texted me today and he said, okay, bro, we can go to Holland. So we're going to Holland. Well, we're going to Belgium, but we're gonna stop by Holland cause I have to see my friend. Now it's time for a few days to pass and then uh, go to the airport and then, uh, then it's off to London and then Belgium. It's Friday. We're about to leave to the airport in about an hour, but my friend Kieran texted me, bro, bring me some jalapeno chips. Kieran used to be my roommate and he was obsessed with these chips from the US. So I'm gonna bring him some jalapeno chips and they're probably just gonna be dust by the time they get there, but I gotta leave to the airport very soon. <laughs> and I'm trying to find these fucking potato chips. Where are they? Where are they? Yo, we hit the jackpot, baby. Oh my goodness. It's finally time to go to the airport. We got the chips. We made it to Britain. We're in Gatwick Airport. It's so nice here, isn't it? I love Gatwick Airport. The cleanest airport I've ever been to. It's like the worst airport I've ever been to. I can't believe Br British people are real. All right, we made it to Amsterdam. I spent the night at Kieran's last night, walked on the city, did all this stuff. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like how many bikes there are. For some reason, I thought there'd be cars in the city, but it's just all bikes everywhere. I wasn't prepared for the weather either. I thought it was gonna be like sunny and like hot the whole time. But no, I didn't bring a jacket and it was like raining and it's gonna be raining and cold all week. Right now I'm locked out of Kieran's place cause I was flying my drone and uh, it, it went into someone's backyard cause it died mid flight. Hopefully I don't get in trouble, but we're gonna hop this fence right here and get it. Step three, explore Amsterdam. Let's 
some Hoffman Norbins, bro. Kieran, this is kind of hard to eat. I, I, I get it. <laughs> that was good. I slept 12 hours last night. Step four, get some Amsterdam snacks. Hello. Bro, what is this, bro? Are these bananas? This grocery haul goes crazy. They got these little like drop things. Bro, you gotta try tickle. <laughs> the candy's good here. <laughs> if you like uh, salty licorice, of course. <laughs> Sugar. Wow, there's a bee. There's a bee. Prost. Cheers. What else? Prost. Prost. What? Oh, Prost? Prost. Oh, Prost. Prost. <laughs> Prost. <laughs> Prost. You can say it 14 times. Yeah. Bro. Bro. I got a surprise for you. It's just fucking... How the fuck are you cheating? Damn. How are they, bro? That's still as good as I thought. Step five. Find some windmills. Yo. I got my strovavel, my schotkachel, and we're going to see some windmills. I couldn't be more excited. In Gertland. Me and Liam made it to the windmills. Isn't that right? Got my strovavel the whole Amsterdam experience right here. That's really all you need. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. A Deutschland Strohwaffel. Mmm. Mmm. Yani too. <laughs> it's tasty and delicious. It's raining. We gotta get out of here. We're in the town center right here, right? What is it called? Amsterdam. Yeah, this is the town center. Amsterdam. Like center. Yeah, Amsterdam Central, right? And it's super romantic. Isn't it super romantic? <laughs> yup, I'm in. Step six, go to the beer museum. We're in Belgium, baby! Yeah! We finally made it to Belgium. Pretty much spent this entire time in Amsterdam, so uh, we're gonna check out Belgium and see what it's like. I wanna get some waffles, I wanna get some chocolate, I wanna get some Belgian beer. So far, it's. Uh, we just walked out of the train station. It's, it's so far, I, I, I know nothing. So let's go do something. So this is what Brussels looks like. There's buildings. There's a, an atmosphere. There's food, just like everywhere else. 
Now, isn't it crazy that every place is the same? But no, the biggest difference I'm noticing already is just there's cars here. I was in the Uber and I was like, wait a second. We were just in Amsterdam and there was no, there was no cars really. It was just bikes. Step seven, acquire a Bicky burger. Fucking Bicky ketchup? Bicky burger is a Belgian hamburger. Deep fried patty made from a combination of pork, chicken, and horse meat. <laughs> what? Chicken, pork, and horse meat. So we're gonna eat a horse? Try the Bicky burger. Bicky. Thank you. Fuck it, bro. Let's get a Bicky burger. Can I get a double Bicky beef burger? Uh, with cheese. And what's what's the pink sauce? The pink sauce? Oh, interesting. Is it good? Yeah, yeah sure, I'll do that. All right, I got these pink fries. I'm gonna put it in my body now. Just tastes like In-N-Out fries, bro. <laughs> Literally tastes like animal style fries. Just add some green onions and some cheese. Okay, so I think the sauce is banging. The fries are banging. Y'all gonna try my Bicky beef burger now? My double Bicky beef? <laughs> Let's try this double Biggie beef burger. <laughs> it's okay. So the moral of the story is don't listen to Chad GBT and don't eat horse. Let's 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 stop putting horse in things. Step eight, get a new stylish hat. What am I getting? I think this one's funny. This one's funny? That's it, bro. That's the one. Bro, I found it. Mannequin pit. What? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's just a fucking little kid pissing. Whoa, what the fuck are they doing, bro? That's fucked up. <laughs> that's a kid. <laughs> Step nine, go to the Atomium. I don't even know how to pronounce this, but we're here. ChatGPT said this was one of the top places to come to. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I have no idea. Just say, let's go in. All right, let's go in. You are now in the upper sphere because the Naranja is blue and light to me. This means light to me. I'm actually nauseous right now. <laughs> I'm normally not scared of heights, but this is this is kind of terrifying to be honest with you. I'm just like imagining like I'm just imagining it tilt over. Hey. <laughs> Feel that peace. This is what I want to do forever. I just sit in a room with music and lights. Step 10, get some waffles and beer. We're going to the delirium bar to get some deliriums and some Duvals and Upulers or whatever. Maybe they just sell delirium, I don't know, but we're gonna get some beer. Uh, hopefully I can get a waffle because I'm in Belgium, I need a freaking Belgian waffle. But yeah, we'll see what we can do. How could their actual product and name be bad? It makes me feel like it might be. It might be bad because it's just named. It's only called like the thing you're here with. <laughs> we couldn't make it to the chat GPT waffles because uh, we leave tomorrow morning, but I found these waffles. They look pretty much the same. I hope they're just as good. If not, then I don't know what to tell you. had some deliriums and uh they were good they were good we're taking these limes for a spin after the bar it sucks <laughs> oh shit oh shit hey you you're finally awake had some fun with some Irish dudes last night, drank some Dusseldorf's, 
I, uh, I'm pretty banged up. <laughs> this whole street smells like piss. But yeah, that's Brussels. I had a good time here. I had a good time in Amsterdam. That's all that matters. Go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go do something sick and stuff. All right, love you, bye. I forgot to mention that we saw a guy in the subway fully on his side sleeping with his penis out peeing like just flooding right next to him it was it was a sight to see